Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you are having a fantastic day. My name is Bailey Sarian and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on this look. It's like a grungy fall look. Do you like it? You should like it. It's good. It's very easy. I know you can do it. We're also on the couch. We upgraded from the floor to the couch. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And let's get into the toot tutorial. Here we go. Buckle your seatbelts, kitty cats. So lately I haven't been wearing face primer. I just do my skincare and then I spray my face with a Pixie Glow Mist. I like it, except for how it tastes. I don't like that. For foundation, I mix the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have number 10, light beige, with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation with 1N Creamy Vanilla. I mix these two because the Estee Lauder is so thick and so matte. You really can't wear it like on your face alone. It looks very, very cakey. And then this is more like a water-based foundation. And I like the finish that this gives me. And when I mix the two, it's just like this very pretty concoction. Very nice coverage. I can't believe we're already halfway through November, right? What's the date today? My birthday is on November 26th. What, what? So I'm a Sagittarius. Everyone always asks me like what my sign is and honestly, I don't really know that much about signs, but I've mentioned this before on my Snapchat, like I've told you guys. The one thing I know about Sagittarius for sure, that we're spontaneous and we love stationery. Okay, this is a fact. Pencils, pens, notebooks, paper. I don't know what it is, but like something about goddamn paper and pens just like really gets me going. And that's what I know about Sagittarius. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. The last time I uploaded a video was that girl, why a girl so mean conversation I had, which I greatly appreciate you, you guys for understanding where I was coming from. Like I wasn't trying to lecture anybody on what I think. It was more like I want to start a conversation. As to like maybe how can we be better? You know, and I appreciate that you guys like were understanding of where I was coming from because I was afraid that people were going to think that I was just sounding crazy or like just think that I was complaining, which is not what I was trying to do. It was just I'm not sure what I was trying to do. It was just kind of venting, but I want to find like a solution as to what what can we do to be better? I don't know if we're ever going to find that solution, but and you guys are really understanding and I just really appreciate it. I was like, oh, okay, here. I thought this video was going to get like no views, but it got a lot. I was like, okay, okay. Also, I'm not a professional public speaker. I'm not that great at explaining like what's on my mind or what I think about things. So I'm glad that you guys did understand where I was coming from. I try my best, but I'm not the greatest. I'm just little old Bailey. With my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I have the color Fair Neutral. Now I'm not going for a natural look, so I am gonna go pretty heavy. <laughs> Why not? So I just dab it right underneath my eyes, center of my nose, middle of my forehead, around my nose, around my mouth, chin, underneath my cheekbone. So with my sponge, I'm just blending out my concealer. This is the Tar, is it Tartes or Tartias? I've heard both. Pro Glow Palette. I like it for this shade right here. It's called Shade. This thing is so dirty. Sorry. But it's a cream contour color. And I just pat it along my jawline. And then along my hairline. Then I take my sponge and I go over it just to blend it. I started to do my powder and then I realized I wasn't filming. <laughs> so this is the NARS uh, Soft Velvet Loose Powder. I have the shade Eden and like when I really want a full coverage, instead of using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my under eyes, I use this powder because it does add a little bit more coverage. So this is the Sigma uh, Edge Kabuki Brush. I like this brush. It's like a triangle. It's great for setting the under eyes. Just the perfect shape. So I'm setting under my eyes, around my mouth. Everywhere that I put the concealer is where I'm using this powder. And right in here, underneath my contour. And then middle of my forehead as well. But I do find that this powder makes me look more flawless. Like I look really smooth when I use it. It's just trying to get it out of the container for some reason is such a pain. I think because they don't want you to use a ton, but I'm trying to use a ton. Now I'm going to work on my eyebrows. 
So I'm gonna use the Kelly Baker Brow Defining Pencil and I have the shade brown and dark brown. So this is a dark brown and I use this mainly up top. So I just like outline the upper brow. Every day around this time, it's like, it's a uh, two or three o'clock PM. I miss Oprah so much. It's not the same. I miss her. I wish they would just play reruns. I don't care. I know she has podcasts and everything, but I just miss her show. Did you guys see her favorite things? Okay, look, Oprah is, she's my mom. I was really excited. Like, you know, her favorite things is like everything. This year was kind of a letdown. There really wasn't anything in there that was like, I have to get this. There were these like slippers that I wanted because I was just talking to Fern the other day that I want house slippers. I know it sounds like an old lady thing, but I want house slippers. And Oprah had some slippers in her favorite things, but of course like they're, they're sold out. So no house slippers for me. So then I switched to the light brown and I feathered this through or stroke it through right up in here. Just the beginning of my brow. And then I brush it through. Okay, so once my eyebrows are on, I'm now priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in, I think this is Eden? No, it's Fix. So I'm just dabbing this all over my lid up to my brow. And then I've been using this, the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows Top Notch Palette. I like that it comes with a big mirror. That's a plus. So with like a all over shadow brush, I like to do Bestest. Put it all over my lid and then I just kind of buff it all the way up towards my eyebrow I like this palette I've noticed the pigment of the shadows it's very sheer you can build it to where you really see the shadows but right off the bat it's like a sheer wash of color I'm taking the shade first class same brush put this right on the lid coming up towards my crease And then I just switched to like a blending brush with nothing on it, just to kind of lightly go over it and soften it. Then this is like a smaller crease brush, it's the MAC 221 brush, and I take Exclusive, and I place this along my lower lash line. Actually, I'm sorry, I don't like this brush for that. I need a denser brush. This is a Stelazi S120 brush. Then with the shade Top Notch, blending brush as well, placing it right on the edge of that last shade just so it kind of blends it out. Fades it. I really like the perfectly imperfect grungy look. So I don't really go too much for like this perfect blended eye. I want it to look like I didn't really try, you know? This is the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eyeliner in whiskey. It's just a matte brown. I want to just place this like on my inner lash line. I'm coming as close to the lash line as I possibly can. And I'll take my finger and kind of smudge it for that more worn in look. I'm going to come along my waterline as well. Oops. And then I'm going to smudge it. Okay. Now before I put on mascara and stuff, I'm going to dust off my powder and work on my face and then come back and finish my eyes. So I'm just using a brush with nothing on it and dusting off the powder. So this powder can make you look powdery, but have no fear. And this is when I take my glow mist again and I spray my face. And what it's gonna do is melt the foundation and the powder like into the skin so it doesn't look so powdery, so cakey, so white or ashy looking. It's just like what I like to do. I saturate my face with that. But the trick is you gotta let it dry completely before you now try to layer, like I'm gonna layer my contour powder and stuff, but you have to let it dry completely or things are just gonna kinda get muddy and stick. It just turns into a mess. So just wait until it's completely dry. This is a MAC powder and sculpt. It's a little refill you can buy. I love this powder for contouring. It's just my fave. I'm placing this along the areas where I did my cream contour to set it, but also intensify it. With the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. Just giving myself a bronzier look. You look suspicious, Saint. 
you look suspicious. So I put on my lashes and my mascara, top and bottom lashes. I know you guys are gonna wonder what eyelashes these are. I don't know, I know. I keep all of my lashes in this mint tin box. I put like lashes in here. Unfortunately, it's just like I don't know what lashes these are sometimes. I'm going to assume these are e probably red cherry lashes because red cherry and Ardell lashes are always like my go-tos. So I apologize, okay? This is a lip liner from NARS called Spunk. Spunk. Also, don't be mad at me. I'm looking at the picture that I posted on my Instagram. This is supposed to be this look, okay? Now here, I used NARS lipstick in Aya, Aya, A-Y-A. I cannot for the life of me find it. I do not know where I put it. Pissing me off, but I apologize. Not having that. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever uh, Aqua Lip, and this is in 505. I've been using this a lot lately. It's just such a pretty color, perfect for fall. Now I am going to add a smidge of a highlight and then I'm done. I got this one, it's the Desi and Katie uh, highlighter in uh, Fuego. I've had this for a while. It's not that I don't like it. I just can't get it to show up like everybody else does. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like everybody else gets it to really glow and I can't seem to get that glow. It's pretty. I guess on camera it looks more glowy, but in person I don't really see it that much. Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight, Fuego. Fuego, I know I sound stupid, right here. Right in my tear duct. And this is the finished look. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's pretty easy. I personally am very slow as a, I'm very slow when I get ready, so this look takes me forever. Every look takes me forever. Who am I kidding? I don't know what my deal is, but I'm so slow when I do my makeup. Anyways, I hope you liked this tutorial. Let me know what you think down below. I love a good grungy fall look. I hope you have a really good day today. You make good choices and I will see you guys later. Oh, also, if um you try this look, don't forget to tag me in it because I'd love to see the looks that you guys do at home if you recreate it. It makes me happy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.